This hit and run is specification error in a thimble. I was going to say in a nutshell, but I wanted something even smaller than a nutshell. A little thimble, a device people use when they're sewing. Smaller than a nutshell because this is probably the shortest treatment of specification error you'll ever see. But the treatment depends very critically on a simple correlation coefficient called R12, and that is the correlation between explanatory variables x1 and x2. Correlation between explanatory variables x1 and x2. Like if we're doing an earnings equation and we've got age and education, those are going to be correlated. In fact, when the correlation R12 between explanatory variables x1 and x2, when that's really high, You've got a multicollinearity problem. Yeah, over 0 0.80, and you're going to have problems, and we've seen a whole lot about that. It is also possible that the correlation between explanatory variables would be very low, but kind of rare. Keep that R12 in mind, and now let's have a look at specification error in a nutshell. The biggest things that we worried about, or continue to worry about, would be an omitted variable. It belongs in the equation, and it's not there. And irrelevant variable. It doesn't belong in the equation, but we throw it in anyway. And we want to know, will our estimates be biased? And the answer for an omitted variable is yes. Yeah, you know, if you leave out an omitted variable, you know, that's why it's omitted. It got left out then it will bias the estimates of the coefficients that are left in. And for an irrelevant variable, will it cause bias? No. And if we just stopped right there, then that would say, well, you know, we ought to just throw in any variable we can think of that might help explain a dependent variable because it's not going to cause bias if we throw it in and it doesn't belong and it might contribute something. Uh, but there's more to it than that. It's because this yes comes with a qualification. Unless, unless R12 equals zero. See, if there's no correlation at all between the variables that you're putting in and the variable that belongs in the model but you left it out, then you get a free pass because then you don't get any bias. But remember, we just saw that explanatory variables are almost always correlated. So there's kind of a, a loophole that doesn't often come into play. And then there's the matter of the variance. Because we're not just interested in whether the estimator is correct on average. We're also wondering how widely does it scatter out its estimates. And here, the most important cell in this table is that the variance increases. This is the reason that we don't just throw in every irrelevant variable. Sure, it won't cause any bias if you throw it in. It doesn't belong but it increases the variance and makes the estimator less precise. But even here, there's this little exception. Unless R12 equals zero. If R12 equals zero, then you can throw in that irrelevant variable and you won't increase the variance. But remember, R12 is very rare. Here, we come to the last block in this table. This is the oddest one of all, decreases. Look at this. When you omit a variable, it biases the estimate, but it decreases the variance. And a decreased variance is something that we like. Once again, however, there is this thing here, this, uh, this qualification, unless R12 equals 0. Now, we're not going to make much of this conclusion, but there are times, especially in the forecasting world, when it's more important to have a really small variance and be pretty close than it is to be totally unbiased. So there are cases out there in the forecasting world where they omit variables. The trade-off that this table illustrates is between an omitted variable and an irrelevant variable. We're always wondering, should we leave this variable out and run the risk of omitted variable bias, or should we throw it in and run the risk of making our estimates variance increase so much that they're useless. That is specification error in a thimble.